two, one, and action. What is up, Travels with Buddy Nation on the Travels with Buddy Station? Today is Friday, April the 5th, and it is getting pretty late. And I've been up since 5 in the morning, and it's probably around going on 10 o'clock at night. So I'm a little tired, but I want to get a workout in. So today I'm going to train some traps, some chest, some uh, lats, back shoulder muscles, and some core training. So make sure you stay tuned and check out this video. And it's going to be some, a pretty good workout, right bud? And then when I get done training, I got to make Buddy his lunch. So we don't want to train too long because I know Bud's hungry. He did have some snacks today, but he wants his roast beef. And I want my roast beef too. So we're gonna do some training. Then I'm gonna feed Bud his supper. And it was raining mostly all week. I don't know what is up with all this rain, but I would like to see more sunshine, huh Bud? But without further ado, I will start those exercises. I'll do the best I can. Make sure you watch these, all these exercises because I'm doing I'm doing variations of a lot of the similar exercises that I do that I normally do. I'm going to do some pull downs for the lats. I'm going to do some flies for the chest. I'm going to do some cable flies on the on my cable machine, which I don't uh, use very often. So make sure you want to check this video out. I'm going to even need to turn that camera a little bit towards the uh, my cable machine. How about? It? So without further ado, I will demonstrate those exercises, but. You, uh, I'll put you in the other room and you can chill out and you can spot me from the other room and then when I get done training, I'll make your supper, alright? So, I'm going to hurry up and get this workout completed because I know uh, Buddy wants to eat his supper. Not Buddy. Alright. I do want to give Buddy some camera time because he is a handsome dog and uh, hopefully tomorrow the weather will be a little better and I'll take him for a walk tomorrow. I know Bud does need his exercise. Huh, Bud? All right. The first thing I want to do is take a couple deep breaths. I'm going to maybe turn the camera a little bit. All right, I'm going to do take a couple deep breaths, say the mantra, and get into the mood exercising exercise I'm going to do is a lat pull down. With this exercise I'm going to, yeah, I think you, yeah I can definitely see me from the, the camera. I'm going to do this. Normally I do this sitting on the bench but I only feel like moving the bench so I'm going to start at kneeling and I'll do about 15 or 20 repetitions. So you can bring the, the weight down to about shoulder level. Count along with me.
20 reps. Felt good. Got a nice stretch, my back and shoulders. Okay. I, need to, I feel like I need to change, uh, move this camera a little bit more this way. All right. Maybe not, but I don't know. All right. Next, I'm going to do a chest fly with the cables. Basically, I'm going to go for about 15 to 20 repetitions. Come along with me. Great. I got 22 reps. Felt really good. Next exercise I'm going to do is this is a great exercise for the traps, um, shoulders, upper back, and whew. and I got this. I think I paid seven dollars for this on Amazon, and it's a really good piece of equipment. It's called the chest pull, and it comes with the the two grips. And it comes with five of these blue bands. I only got two of them on here. Because this exercise is one of those exercises, for me anyway, I like to get a lot of reps. I like to get it anywhere between 35 and 50 to get to feel a really good burn. When you go too heavy and you get just a few reps per set, you don't really feel that burn. Uh, so anyways, I'm gonna demonstrate the chest pull. Really good exercise, really good for, for the back. And shoulders and especially if you get that stiffness in your upper back the upper center part of your back this is a really good exercise for that for loosening that up and stretching that muscle and working that muscle um, so without further ado whew, I will demonstrate the chest pull and again I'll go for about at least 35 repetitions come along with me Alright, I got 40 reps. Whew, the exercise felt really good. I felt it in my uh, upper back, traps, back of the shoulders. Really good exercise. Again, this, these, uh, like I said, this I, I paid $7 for this. Really good piece of equipment to do once in a while. Really good to work those back muscles. The next exercise I'm going to do, I don't, know, I don't know why, but I feel like this camera is... All right, maybe this is a better spot. <laughs> Next exercise I'm gonna do is a simple exercise, a shoulder shrug. 
is a shoulder shrug is not an exercise where I like to go super heavy. I know a lot of guys that go super heavy when they do shoulder shrugs. If you're trying to build traps, the exercise that I just did is a better alternative. Um, if you want to do a power exercise, you're better off doing push-ups. You're better off doing sit-ups or dips or something. But a shoulder shrug is not a, it's not really a power exercise. A lot of people say, oh, I like to go really heavy because it builds up your forearms to get good grip. Well, you're better off doing dead hangs or pull-ups where you're holding your body. Because then you'll build, that's a good way to build uh, or really strengthen your grip strength. Is just doing dead hangs off of a pull-up bar, you know, for maybe a minute or so, like this, you know, just just hang like this and try to hold on for about a minute. This is a really good stretch for the back, and it that exercise really builds up your grip as well. All right, but anyways, without further ado, I will do a set of shrugs and I'll go I'll try to get at least 15 reps or so count along with me All right, woo, I got 40 repetitions, and I'll tell you what, I felt a lot better getting those repetitions. I got a nice stretch in my shoulders, and uh, really get that tightness out of the, you know, out of that, that area up there by where your traps are. Most people have a problem with, with that area where it's just really tight. So it, make more, it would make more sense to, to train your traps if you're going to do shrugs to do them light and try to do a full range of motion. Just get the blood in that area. Just get a nice, you know, stretch, stretch those muscles out. And it uh, feels really good. Get the blood circulating through that area. Increase the flexibility and strength in that area. That's the way to do it, I think. For me, anyway. All right. And uh, the final exercise I'm going to do is a really good core exercise and with this exercise it's the wheel and really good basic exercise and I, when I start doing this exercise I start off I usually don't go full range of motion at first until I'm warmed up with this exercise really good exercise for the lats the shoulders the triceps and the abdominals I don't go for anywhere from 15 to 25 reps. Count along with me. Actually, I think I'm gonna do 14 reps. Probably gonna bring this a little further back. That way, I can stretch out further.
did about 25, 26 reps. That's a really good exercise for the abdominals and the back muscles, the shoulders and the lats. Woo. And I'll go over that routine, those five exercises, maybe two more times. Really good warm up, really good stretch, and uh, really good workout for me. And if and for anybody else, any, if you give these exercises a try, you'll see what I mean. All right, remember, if you like these videos, make sure you subscribe to Travels with Buddy and keep training. Give these exercises a try and have an awesome day. All right, everybody, peace out. And I'll see you on the next video.